Good morning, guys. We are leaving Lee Stocking. We're gonna head to Farmer's Key. We're gonna leave out a Lee Stocking cut and then go into Farmer's Cut. The sea state out of the out of the Lee stocking cut right now is really good, very favorable. Just a little bit of a pain because of the north northeast wind that's coming through. We've done a bunch of tacking, and it's been a little stressful. We accidentally might have cut off a power boat doing a tack, but it Sorry, wasn't anything boat. detrimental. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be a beautiful sail and we just passed out through the cut. What are your thoughts? A lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's really calm coming through. Doing tacks inside of a cut, not my favorite, especially when you're watching the coral reef break, but got through it, super easy, super grateful that it was. And now on to Little Farmer's Key. So we're doing seven knots going in, it's nice and calm. Uh, we're doing seven knots because the tide's coming in and the wind's pushing us in a little bit as well. But that was an easy cut, nothing to it. We took this cut because it's getting a little close to the end of the day and we wanted to get through the cut before the currents got too bad. So we decided to do it now, then later. And we can always anchor off anywhere along here if we get tired or it gets too late. Well, let's just say that this uh, cut, taking this cut was a really good decision because we're going faster inside than we were doing outside because we don't have the waves to be beating into right now. So we're hitting seven knots. We're gonna get there sooner than we were planning on when we were on the Atlantic side. Good move, high five. <laughs> we just did a little touch and go. We we're trying to go up this one channel, narrow channel, and Navionics was saying it was about seven feet deep, but not the case. It was probably more like three nine, what we draft. So we uh, we realized we were bumping a little bit, so we just turned around and we're gonna go on the outside, play it safe.
All right, you guys, we made it. It was a little stressful for me just because there's a lot of sandbars over here in the Caribbean side by the Exumas. Um, but not too bad. We pretty much healed the whole way over, so that made me feel a little better. And now we are actually gonna hop in the water because on our chart it shows us a nice little reef right here, boat side diving. All done with the snorkeling. It was that was pretty cool. fun. I, we saw so many different things. Just for it to be so small had a lot of life in it. Yeah. I'm really glad that we went to it. Saw a couple grouper, but we couldn't catch any. We saw an any. eel. Yeah. I mean, he was hidden. I saw and like an. It looked like an albino stingray. I don't know. It was super cool. It was a quick little dive, but now we are headed on to a new little adventure. Here in Great Guana, they have a water cave a pool cave something along that lines so we're gonna go check it out there's a path right over here and we're gonna see what it is Buddha bears coming It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad in the hurt She's <laughs> taking the droney stick out to the beach <laughs> We are still on the hunt for this pool cave, which I believe is just down the hill, so. Yeah, we decided to climb the hill to see what it looked like up here. And to show you guys. <laughs> but now, let's go and find this pool. So hard to see from the moment we arrived. We've still not found the cave and this makes me feel like I'm in the labyrinth and that David Bowie is going to jump out any minute now. <laughs> supposedly back there somewhere. It's supposedly back there somewhere but we can't find it. Found it. In typical Bowie and Brady fashion we didn't go far enough in. Right there. Right here. We were just over here one second ago. But we found it! Let's look inside. Mm -hmm. 
So we made it and it's very warm in here. <laughs> it's really warm. I'm sweating, but I also feel like moisture is being drawn out of my body. It's really dry, but hot. Of course, we're the only ones here and that's cool, but it's yeah. also eerie. You can hear us echoing and you can hear the drop of the fresh water. Oh, I just got a drop on my arm. <laughs> The stalactites are dropping fresh water into the cave. And this is called a lens pool cave because of that. So there's salinity into the water, so there's salt water, but there is a lens of fresh water on top, so that's kind of cool. And actually, this is the first cavern and of many, but all the other caverns are submerged. Yeah. So you'd need dive gear to actually go explore those. Which we don't have. Yeah, or if you're Aquaman and can really <laughs> hold your breath for a long time, you could probably do it. Yeah. But right behind us is a really cool pool that we've never seen a cave with water in it. So this is really different for us. I don't know if it's dust or growth or what this is, but are you seeing how they look rainbow? There's orange and then red and then green and then darker green, and then both shadow. Uh, echo. <laughs> so this being our second cave, it's really different because this one has water in it. Not something you specifically think, oh, caves with water. And all I can think of is what's in there, but Bo wants to get in. There are little fishies in here. They're biting my toes. It is really cold. It's freezing in here. <laughs> and it's very salty. And those fish seem to be like albino shrimp or something. They're really small. And they bite hard. They do. <laughs> They're biting all over. They're biting my legs, not just my toes. Ooh, see? There's one right there. I feel like these little squiddy things look like the things from oh, Matrix. The, the tracker. Yeah, the tracker. Oh, like <laughs> geez. You bit me hard, behind the knee. <laughs> they are. Man. Oh gosh. Okay, right, I'm gonna to get go a little scared. <laughs> it is creepy in here. It is super creepy. But it's gorgeous. And if it's really and different. hot out and you wanna cool down, definitely come in this here. This is a place to be. Yeah. This was the neatest experience. I'm so glad that we actually finally found it. I highly recommend it. If you come, it's worth the little shrimp biting you. It's not that big of a deal. So, we gotta wrap this up. It's been amazing, 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 amazing. That's my echo. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. If you guys liked that episode, give us a thumbs up and also leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hit that little bell for notifications of when our next episode will come out. And if you're looking for more, be sure to join our Patreon page. The link is below. Lots of behind the scenes and little posts. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Bye.